In 0792, we have introduced playbacks. Playbacks that place the submasters and the memories to a single item. You have 201 playbacks on the smaller console and 601 playbacks on the larger console. That's the 10 here across 20 pages and the central one here that's always available. Uh, playbacks can have a single lighting state on them, just like you could with a Submaster, but they can also have multiple cues on them, just like you could with your memories. When you load a show file into 792, we will automatically convert Submasters into the new playback format and we'll display an image on the screen to show you exactly what we have changed. The biggest difference you'll find with 0792 is how we record the cues into playbacks. Previously, you would create a lighting state by using the faders or the encoder wheels. And you would then say what you want it, select a submaster or cue, and then press record. We've switched those last two steps. So now you press record, and then you say where you want to record the cue. So it might be a playback here, or it might be one of these playbacks here. These are flashing to let you know that they're available, so we'll just select the first one here. We now create the second key, so we'll just turn these lights blue for now. And to record a second key onto that playback, I press record, and I press the playback again. When I do that, the desk will ask me if I want to create a second key, or if I want to create a chase, or if I want to override or merge the information that was there before. So I'm just going to go and choose create key 2. The master playback here in the software is called Playback Zero, and it's exactly the same to the other playbacks, except that it doesn't change when you change the pages. We've also combined the settings from submasters and queues into a single window. So if you hold down the setup button and press the go or the uh, playback button here, you'll get the window on the screen and on the multifunctional keys. Every option is available to you, and if there's more settings than there are buttons, you can use the page up and page down keys to get to the additional settings. A playback with multiple cues can be turned into a chase. So for example, I've got a playback here with 10 separate cues of each of the 10 lights coming on to full, and I've turned that into a chase so it's continuously cycling through that. The button underneath acts as a tap tempo, so that allows me to change the speed of the chase just with two button clicks. Alternatively, as I've done on this playback, I can set it as a global tap tempo and I use the step button instead. This allows me to have multiple chases all running at the same speed. If you're recording cues in a theatrical environment and you want to include a chase, we use a playback as your chase, just like we've done before, and then we go into the cue settings and add that chase into the cue using a macro. We first of all go to the cue that you want the chase to start in, Go to Cue Settings and press Enter, choose Macros, and then choose Trigger Cue Stack. We can then select the chase we want here, and click OK on these windows. And then go down to the cue that we want the chase to stop in and do the same, but this time we choose Macros and Release Cue Stack. Although this takes a little bit longer, the advantage is we can use the same chase multiple times and the chase can run over multiple cues as other things on your stage are changing. Auto palettes are now built right into the window. So if we open the color window, we just choose this automatic palette button here and they're automatically created. That button's also available on the multifunctional keys for color, theme, position, effect, and groups. If we go and make our own custom color on these fixtures, now we can record that by pressing the record button and then either choosing an empty palette here or pressing record colour and choosing an empty palette on the NFKs. If you've got an external touchscreen, inside the colour palette window there's a few features we've borrowed from Flex. Inside the colour picker you can use multi-touch and you can load in an image and pick a colour straight from there. Inside filters we've also got mood boards by Lee filters. Setup on the solution has been reorganised, with all the options available to you down the left hand side. We've also combined several things. For example, you can choose load file, and from there you can load in show files from the desk, ASCII show files, or even software updates. The special menu hides lots of really important features, and we've rearranged those to make it a lot easier to find them. We first of all got the channel button mode along the top, 
that allows you to change what the buttons under the channels do. You can switch them from flash, solo, latch or select. We've then got the preset mode and we've added in a new mode called disabled where we disable all of this area here and just use the faders as 1 to 48 or 1 to 96 on the larger console. If you prefer, you can choose two preset or wide mode to recreate the operation you used to have in the old software. We've also completely changed how the insert button works. You can now insert your own function onto that button. So if we hold down setup and press insert, we get a drop down option of lots of different features such as park, unpark, highlight, rem dim, global tap tempo. And you can also change the channel mix mode and the channel flash buttons so you can quickly cycle through options without having to go into the special menu. 0792 is a free software update available from the 088 website. We've also updated the manual to include all the new features and a special document that details the changes to the solution from the previous version of the software. If you've got any questions, please email us at support at 088.com, give us a call or go to our community support forum at 088.com forward slash forum.